Last time on Near Replicant, Brother Near Edition. I wonder if we can hear him now. Debris. Will there be more debris? Yeah, there's no more debris than last time. Escape. What are you doing? Escape. 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 Go. See the world. Go. Oh, he wants him to Go. escape. Wow, so Kane was actually listening to this. Example of humanity. Wow. Hey, what the fuck? Where's my weapon guy? Excuse me. Maybe Popolis found some information about the Shadow Lord. Let's drop by the village. All right, cutscene time. Very well. Come on, Devil and Popola, cutscene me. Cutscene. Come on. Come on. Do I go Red Wedding or do we go Little Evil Girl? Hanging out with the machine. It appeared the creature was actually issuing orders to that mechanical minion. So Weiss cannot understand them either, but Kane can because she has shade. Do you think the shade had a reason for what it did? Actually. No, this isn't you. We've had this conversation. But Kane never says anything. Look, it doesn't matter what a shade is or isn't thinking. All that matters is that we kill every last one of them. See, this scene is very interesting because Kane has a shade in her and that makes her part of that list, doesn't it? Oh, thank you, Anonymous! <laughs> Every week you come back and you give. Thank you, thank you. How are you, by the way? Right, sure. The idea of a shade trying to protect a robot is goddamn absurd. See, the way she crosses her arms and moves away, she's basically defensive. Still, you guys should be careful. What do you mean? If the shade inside me ever takes over, I'm probably going to attack you. That's not gonna happen. I'll see, now you make an exception. Why? Because you find her cute? What? You are no shade. The lad is correct. You are many things, hussy. But a shade is not one of them. Shades, for example, do not come equipped with such foul and scurrilous mouths. What a backhanded compliment, you two. My god. How about I cram your face up your own asshole, book? Don't worry, Kaine. If your shade ever takes over, I'll stop you. Oh my god, Anonymous is going nuts again. He's going on a gifting spree. Thank you. You will, will you? I think we're gonna run out of people for you to gift. Man, Anonymous is gonna get us a new emoji by himself. 
We're back up to 78 sub points. <laughs> Thanks, Emil. I think at 125 we get an emotional emoji slot. He's just gonna carry us there himself. No, wait, fuck, this is the final week of the month. So he goes back to zero next week. Shit. Ah, oh, you crazy bastard. Ah, crap, we're still in hard mode. Ah, uh, we'll change it in a sec. At least the um, a Persona thing is showing up. That's a good thing, right? I think last week it was a bit glitchy, but this week it's showing up. Can we get a cutscene now? I guess the shade came near the village. People kept coming up to me saying, Boy, we sure wish we had your brother around. I said, Me too. Kuma could kick that shade's butt. No cutscene, it seems. We did! See, we're at 92% for quests. That means there's 8 quests left. Yona's thing could be what? What? 1, 2 quests. The guy that starts up shop is like, what? 1, 2 quests. That means there's another 4 quests somewhere that we do not know about. Alright, quick little break. I'm gonna put us in the tavern so you guys can listen to, uh... Devila? Devila's song? And then we'll kick it off again. Thank you for gifting. Thank you. I'm sure everyone here really appreciates it. Alright, quick little break. Please enjoy her song and we'll be back. We've just got two more. They shouldn't take too long considering we're God. Alright, be right back. Three minute break. Man, the damn ship one and Cerberus were both not fun last week. Oh boy. And this week, they're gonna give us more context for both. Yay. <coughs> so let's go to main menu and turn it back to normal mode so we don't have to do it in hard mode. I could do it in hard mode, but that's more of a personal challenge thing rather than, you know, playthrough challenge because, you yeah, know. <laughs> Easy mode. No, that, that would just not be fair. Did the stream just start? No, it started five hours ago. <laughs> five hours ago, buddy. Five hours. One, two, two, four, seven. <laughs> Looking forward to find out what the two, two, four, seven is. Your notifications are delayed. We stream same time every week. I highly recommend you set an alarm or something. I highly recommend you set an alarm. Your notification is fucked. Mate, you gotta send a, a set an alarm. I pinged on uh, Twitter, I even posted on Discord. I say set an alarm. It's the same time every week, you know? Like, you just set an alarm once a week. Alright, in we go. Hey, Popula. Ah, you're back. Have you learned anything more about the Shadow Lord's key? I'm sorry, but it's going to take me some time yet. I see. Well, can I take something off your plate in the meantime? Hmm. Oh, how about this? You know the ferryman with the red bag, right? You mean the one that was butchered in the ship's hull? Well, he's been skipping out on work lately. Can I ask you to go to Seafront and check on him? Sure thing. I love how I'm HR right now. I'll do what I can to figure out the key. Here we go again. <clears throat> Did Kuma not add everyone? <clears throat> I stopped adding everyone and asked people to set alarms because some people get pissed off I keep adding them. Damn, these chili flakes keep getting caught in my throat. <clears throat> but they're so good. This feels alarmingly familiar. Ah, 
I'm sure that couple is merely having another one of their inane spats. Let us do our utmost not to get dragged into it this time, hmm? <coughs> Oh god, it's gonna kill me! Ugh. Hachan watched Dr. Doolittle for the first time. She liked it. Now she's asking different animals what they're trying to say. It's so adorable. <laughs> she's talking to Chicky like, Chicky, what are you trying to say? And then she saw a dog at the supermarket. She's like, what are you trying to say? <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god, it's adorable. Is it a big thing here? No, it's not. Yeah, we killed her. I think after we did that quest, it's gone now. No more coming back. On the bright side, the LP for this, uh, the claims for this LP don't turn into DMCAs. The company just doesn't respond for 30 days and it goes to normal. But Death Stranding is the one getting DMCA'd out, which is annoying. Because, yeah, I'll have to see if YouTube's gonna let me dispute it. YouTube normally doesn't let you dispute it. They're like, oh, if it falls under fair use, you have to demonstrate the four pillars of uh, fair use. And I'm like, well, I've demonstrated it. Like, oh, okay. Well, we're not forwarding it to the company, and we're not telling you why, and we're closing this case, so don't contact us regarding this ever again. I'm like, but you fucking took down my video. We don't get involved in legal processes. Uh, yes, you are. Yeesh. I don't think I've ever seen fog this thick before. I think we've seen this part? Huh? What's that? Was he the first one to discover it? Still makes me wonder, what the F is going on with the kid in the ship? Like, is she the amalgamation of the entire crew? Or is she just like, some unfortunate girl that just so happens to be on the ship? Oh yeah, like the first time- wait, didn't the first time we tell her the tr no, the first time we told her the truth, the second time we lied to her. And the third time, what are we gonna say? Oh god, it's over. My life is over. What? What? Seeing as- I had a fight with- mm -hmm. But it, I was- That's- alright. <laughs> and here we go again. Shall we begin by asking around at the tavern like before? Yeah, uh huh. Old lady, would you like hey to there. buy a drink? I'm looking for. Really? Yeah, the. Hardly. So hey, take it. I think it's. Thanks for the tip. Say, you're pretty handsome. Care to buy a lonely woman a drink? Yeah, I'm good. Ha! <laughs> Denied. Okay, do we get a cutscene? This black mark showed up on my body sometimes, or I wonder if I'm gonna turn into a golden or something. But thinking about it makes my stomach hurt, so I try not to. So I'm guessing the black scrawl basically means that the uh, that the um rep, uh, the the shade is trying to get in. She didn't offer Hard us to a believe drink. a ship of this size managed to run. She asks us to buy her a drink. Hmm. What was that? Hey, is someone there? No. Okay, I definitely heard someone cough just now. Maybe it's one of those kids from town? But where are they? If you talk to her again, she does? Okay. doing here kid and who are you anyway were you a passenger on this ship maybe <laughs> what'd you get the Ugg boots hey it's okay you don't need to be scared man one of these thumbnails is gonna be this girl because route B Jesus It's, it's pretty sad. You find out about the robot, you find out about this girl, and you find out about Loyal Cerberus. 
And it makes you question. Are we the bad guys? To think that couple's petty squabbles have become something of an attraction for the locals. Doesn't surprise me in the least. Oh, changed your mind, handsome? Sit down with me. Oh, I'll even buy you a drink. No thanks, lady. Ooh. You humans truly are a maddening bunch. Such buffoonery does little more than wear this old tome out. Oh, changed your mind. No thanks. Wow. Oh, I love having my dodge. See? So good. Oh, God damn it. Oh yeah, I gotta go north to find out that he hasn't left and then come all the way back. <sighs> the third time, this gets a little bit repetitive. I get it, we're replaying the second part of the game, but, you know, the third time. Let me guess, you brought bread. Hey there, how are you feeling? Does this scene get extended? <laughs> well, your cough seems better at least. Check it out, I brought you some bread today. Little girls and ghost ships, never a good combination. Oh, easy there. Jeez, you must have been starving. Well, look, no one's gonna take this from you, so just take it easy so you don't choke on it, okay? Oh, Hudson, you brought me food. Do you want some of this then? It's a little bit of chili. Hutchins feeding me so I'm too fat to run away. I want a lot of noodle. Rules do not exist to bind you. They are so you know your freedoms. Their saying really applies when you restrict some of your moves. I mean... Sounds like an abusive relationship with extra steps. So, what were you doing on this boat, kid? Oh, you know, pirates. Actually scratch that. First things first, I can't just keep calling you kid. Have you tried kiddo? You got a name? Alessa. Well, this is going nowhere fast. Let's see. Hmm. Louise. I was having a conversation with Hutchin yesterday and she's like, oh, we need to get a good name if we have a kid. Something like Louis, because it's both English and Japanese. And I'm like, that's a girl's name. And this kid's called Louis. No! It needs to be cool, like Vlad. Yeah, what about Louise? A nice, strong, Slavic name. Not the name of a shade on a ship. Hi, John. Come here. Hi, John. Come on. Come here, real quick. Guess what this girl's name is? Not Haru. Think about yesterday's conversation. Not Chiki. Not Yuki. Not, not Vlad, but you're getting close. Yeah. Not me. Yeah. Not Ryu, but that's a cool name. What was the other name that you thought of? Louis. Louis. Her name's Louise. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you need a manly name. Ryu's maybe. 
I mean, it just sort of popped into my head, but what do you think? She's like, why not Ryu? I'm like, hmm, Vlad Ryu, sounds cool. She's like, no, no Vlad. I'm like, you just call your son Dragon? You have to name her after the biggest dragon that ever was. Vlad Tempest III, member of Order of the Dragon. You know, the militarized Christian sect that impaled Ottomans. I mean, you can't get more dragon than that. <laughs> Guess you're okay with it. Well, it's nice to meet you, Louise. See? Louise, it's a girl's name. <laughs> Meanwhile, someone watching is called Louis going, Hey! You bastard! Georgina! Georgi Porgi! Georgi Tarzan Orgi! What? <laughs> what the fuck? We searched the southern plains back when the wife ran off too, right? I believe we did, yes. Lots changed since then. So it's kind of nice when we find something that hasn't. The fact that couple is still arguing almost fills me with... I don't know. The hope, I guess. If you asked me, that particular couple could benefit from a little change. Don't let Sylvanas hear that word. She'll burn down another city. Did you end up watching the, um, Warbringer Sourfang cinematic, Fab? The one that's fully CGI? Ah, the good old days, Weiss. Talking about leaving for groceries and never coming back. Yeah, I'm just going for a pack of smokes. The what? Watch the Warbringer Sourfang. I linked it yesterday. Oh, hey, it's you. It's fully CGI. You only need like the first one minute. You're related to the ferryman who carries a red bag around, right? Uh, it'll wake you right up. Yeah, he's my little brother. Haven't seen him in a while, though. A shame. Have you any idea where he may have absconded to? Not a clue. Like I said, I haven't seen him. Well, that's unfortunate. Seriously, like, watch it now, you'll see what I mean. Oh, then <laughs> you never the last will. Time oh. I did see him. He said something about using his ferry to deliver letters. Maybe you should try talking to someone at the post office. Wait, delivering letters? What, did he go to the lighthouse lady and then he found the ship? But the lighthouse lady's dead, so where are the letters going? I guess we could ask the postman over in Seafront. Just once, I would enjoy receiving a quest that can be sold in the general vicinity of the Asuka. You know what would be fucked? If the lighthouse lady's lover turned out to be a slaver, and part of his industry was the very slaves that were on that ship that crash-landed on the shore. I cannot believe how many trips we have made simply to track down a single man. It's all right to do this kind of thing every now and then. No, it's not! I only pray this is not the calm before some manner of storm. Don't volunteer me for fetch quests. You say there, lad. Have you ever penned a missive? Nani? You mean a letter? No. I'm not big on writing. It always takes me forever to figure out what I want to say. What's to figure out? One simply takes quill in hand and unleashes their soul upon the canvas of the page. Ever you say Look how he doesn't even stab them. He outright just goes to town. Oh shit, he tackled me. That guy must play college football. Nano machine, son. But yeah, Fab, like I was saying, if you watch that, you would get serious vibes. That's all I'm saying. And you won't need coffee for the next 30 minutes. Oh, here we go, another one. Is this a new one? Is this the one where he asked her to join? Hey there, Louise. Yeah, old soldier, that's the one. Say, where'd you get that red bag? Put it on maximum resolution if you can. 
Oh, Ooh. she kills him. So that so she literally killed him in between those two things. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is that's fucked. So what? She like killed him and dragged his corpse to the hull of the ship. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys call me weird for being scared of little girls and ghost ships. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm the I'm the pussycat. Yeah, sure. You know what? Y you just go inspect the hull of that ship. Yeah, go see what that noise is. Found it on the ship, did you? <laughs> you kids are so darn curious about everything. I like how he doesn't even recognize the red bag. Anywho, it's good to see you. Afraid I don't have any bread today, but I did bring you something. Huh? A red bag. Like my friend wears. My friend that just went missing. Huh. What a kawinky dink. What's that screaming? Ah! What's that noise? Here. It's a ribbon. Let me tie it in your hair for you. <laughs> He's lucky he didn't lose an arm. Like that episode of Ray Zero. Here, let me tie it. Ah! My arm! One job, Subaru. Well, what do you think? Pretty nice, huh? Huh. What's that on the floor? Is it a corpse? Is it someone's rib bone? Oh, it's a mirror. Well, that's a stroke of luck. Let's go ahead and check out your new look. Does she even appear in a mirror? Or is she like one of those ghost things? Or is it just like, don't go in the sun? If you go over there where it's brighter, you'll be able to see yourself more clearly. Uh, what's wrong? Don't you want to see? I like how there's vodka bottles on the right, next to the chest. Oh, I see. You don't like sunlight. Guess your eyes are pretty sensitive after spending all this time in the dark, huh? How does he not have red alarm bells going off right now? Little girl, alone on a ship, doesn't seem to be hungry, doesn't speak, doesn't go in the sunlight. What the fuck? <laughs> like, this is Darwinism at work. Well, it's not like we can have you stay here forever. The fact that he doesn't have red alarm bells means he's missing vital survival instincts. He's the type of person to go pet a hippopotamus. And for those of you that don't know, hippopotamuses are the most aggressive animals in the kingdom. Like this guy raised the hippopotamus from birth and he used to walk with it and ride it and shit. And one day the hippopotamus decided to literally bite him, drag him in the river and eat him. Even though he raised it from birth. Those are hippopotamuses. This guy would want to pet a hippopotamus because it looks cute. We should work on getting you out of here so you and me can go look at the sea together. How's that sound? Yeah, sure. In a world filled with shades, don't even <laughs> suspect the possibility that the little girl in the ghost ship is a shade. And how did he make it all the way to the cabin's quarters without encountering, like, the smell of corpses and all that stuff? Like, how can you not smell it? it it's the smell of rotten corpses, damn it. They have the world's most god-awful smell. Especially when the maggots start coming. And the gases release. It smells like death. Okay, we gotta go to the other one. God damn it. I keep trying to jump the gun. <laughs> I keep trying just to go and kill the little girl. We've become too much Anakin Skywalker right now. We're just chasing to kill little kids. <laughs> like this little kid. Yeah! You'll be fucked if he accidentally dies. That married couple had another huge fight the other day. <laughs> well, <laughs> in a town where there's a shortage of men, I, I guess the fact that they're married is a miracle, right? Oh boy. Hey, postman. Oh, sorry. You're not him. Oh yeah, the postman's also missing. I'm sure as hell not. I just swung by to pick up a letter and wound up running the damn place. How does that work? 
You go to a post office that's empty and like what? Do you assume the position of the postman? Is that how it works? Like I go to a store and it's closed. So now I'm the storekeeper. Like what the fuck? I go to a hospital and the doctor's out. Am I the doctor? <laughs> Relax, I'm doctor. I'm also car mechanic. Like what the fuck? Anyway, you here for a package or something? Uh, no. There's this couple who's always fighting and the husband took off. So I'm trying to track him down. Ring any bells? <laughs> Sorry, pal. You're asking the wrong guy. Still, that's pretty weird. My buddy's daughter took off too. Maybe running away is the cool thing to do now. Well, buddy's daughter. I don't recall a girl being killed. So where's the daughter? It can't be the shade. She never left the ship. I find it exceedingly unlikely this pair of runaways is mere coincidence. Well, maybe that's where the Shay got the clothes. I don't know. She killed a little girl. Any idea where she might have went? That is the question, isn't it? Actually, you know what? I bet she went to check out the huge shipwreck that drifted into the inlet the other day. Not often something like that comes around. It's all the kids have been talking about. We don't ever find the girl, do we? A girl came to the village. She was upset about how loud and annoying her dad is. I wonder if my dad was like that. Oh wow. She doesn't know her dad. Is that a jab at Papa Nia? Ooh, there's color now! Hey Louise. I brought your food for today. Wait, am I crazy or did the previous two scenes not have color? Ah, oh, it's present. That's clever. Past, make it gray. Present, give it color. Gotcha. What's wrong? Aren't you hungry? I don't know. Little girl's on a creepy ship all by herself. Doesn't seem healthy. I don't see a bed for sleeping, do you? Huh. You haven't been eating much lately. Are you okay? So she can understand us. Well then, let's try this. <laughs> I love that this is them singing. They're like, can the VA sing? Oh god, no, never do that again. It's okay. We'll just make like some tune or something and pretend you're singing. Because that stuff was atrocious. It made my ears bleed. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. It's called a song. And it definitely wasn't a beautiful one. Humming a jaunty tune is the best thing for putting a spring in your step. Or to, you know, put you in the grave a few years earlier. Songs are like a little bit of wisdom that makes the tough times easier. I love them personally. I mean, not that I'm any good at singing. Oh, your voice <laughs> is a bit rough there. It's like, oh, okay. But you're actually pretty good. <laughs> you're pretty good. Huh. Oh yeah, that's... Oh, so the postman is out for the day. But he's still doing his job, right? You know, I knew someone who lived in the town lighthouse before she died. You, you mean the woman who you didn't deliver mail to? And you kept writing love letters to her? Um, you knew her intimately. What would have been even more awkward is if you were doing those, you know, sexting male things. And you were pretending to be her boyfriend. And the old lady was slowly getting older and older. And she makes reference to all the sexting letters that your father was writing. And then you had to continue writing them. And she kept calling you Daddy Sugar Bottoms. I mean, that shit. Man, that... That's some dedication right there. She used to hum this same song a lot. Oh, it sounds like you spend a lot of time with her. What the fuck? I heard it every time I stopped by to deliver something, and I guess it just kind of stuck. Cheeky, did you poop somewhere in my room? I smell Cheeky's poop.
If Cheeky pooped somewhere in my room, I swear the fucking god. Of course, that was quite a while ago. <laughs> hey, are, are you trying to cheer me up? It was like that time I tried to play the harmonica. <laughs> you are a kind soul, Louise. I don't know how I feel about this girl. I'm sensing some really weird magic going on here, sunshine. You feeling it too? It could have been that the girl was threatened by the guy in the red bag or something because he tried to hurt her because he thought... So, out of tune, I almost didn't realize what the tune was. Hmm. Maybe the guy tried to kill her and she defended herself by killing him. Maybe she didn't do it intentionally, I don't know. Because she didn't attack this guy. And this is before he was being friendly to her, so... It's very possible that she's not... You know... Wanting to kill people. Maybe she was just... Yeah. Hey Fab, quick question. How did you like the screams of the people being burnt alive? Yeah. 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 W w watch the prelude I did with Matt. Because when they released the trailer for Battle for Azeroth, it was literally an all-out war. And everyone's like, how did the war start? We had peace in the previous expansion. There's your answer. And, and there was a whole campaign to go behind it. But anyway, yeah, you, you can watch those things later. Yeah. Is it... a shade? <laughs> Are you actually trying to think something through rather than just jumping in and killing? She can sense their power levels. What's wrong, Kaine? Nothing. It's just... I'm sensing a presence from Seafront. Something like a shade. A shade in the town? That's not good. Okay, here comes the fun part, when we get more exposition as to the state of mind of the girl. A shipwreck, is it? I suppose we might as well investigate, seeing as how we lack any other tenable leads. Oh fuck. Right, let's head for the inlet. I just realized those noodles that I previously ate, I didn't chew them, I literally just swallowed them. Kinda doubt Red Bagman could hurt a fly when he couldn't even hurt a cockroach. Yeah, but all he would have to do is pull out a knife Tiny. and the girl will feel threatened. Like, he doesn't have to be capable of hurting the girl. She just needs to believe he wants to hurt her. The old soldier was honorable though. Heavy respect for him. Oh man, just wait till you watch the story for Battle for Azeroth. What's going on? I haven't seen you two come into Seafront in, well, ever, I guess. And, and wait till you find out about his backstory. You might even begin to question why. <laughs> Here's the backstory for that old soldier. When he first joined the um, Horde, there was another race on his home planet called the Draenei. They literally committed genocide on that race. And they took their corpses and created a road. They call it the Pl a Path of Glory, littered with hundreds of thousands of skeletons of these Draenei. Women, children, men, all of them. And the road is literally like 12 lanes wide and stretches several kilometers. Hundreds of thousands of bodies. And someone asks, and he's like, I live with that. And it's like, how do you sleep at night? And he's like, I don't eat pork. Because when pigs are slaughtered, they sound like crying children. And that triggers PTSD. 
So yes, your honorable orc probably killed several thousand children. <laughs> also, there will be a new ending if you can defeat her before her scream. Okay. Sorry for the surprise. If I can't do it in this one, I'll definitely do it in the other one. Kaine said she sensed something strange in the area. Strange how? We did what just shape? upgrade our weapons. Maybe. I'm not sure. There's some kind of sound or something coming from up ahead. What an incredibly specific piece of information the hussy has graced us with. <sighs> what is it, Kaine? Nothing. Let's get moving. And you'll also realize that Illidan is Grimoire Vice, and Kaine is voiced by Jaina, and she actually sings a song. So if you want to um, hear Kaine... Wait, is Kaine voiced by Jaina? Yeah, she is. So if you want to hear Kaine sing, look up Jaina Warbringers. She sings a song. And it's We're haunting. We're to figure out some way to get inside that It thing. is Haunting. This ship is in a state of want and decay. Surely we can find a hole or some such if we put our minds to it. So yeah. These planks seem to be covering a rather large hole. We can probably get in if we move them out of the way. I'm worried about whatever it is Kaine is sensing. We should make sure we're really prepared before going inside. I am prepared. That's what it's like. Some of these VAs are top class. They're just amazing. This scene is just fucking awkward. So, were you able to write that letter? Let's just ignore the blood on the ground. <clears throat> Wait. <clears throat> I shouldn't ask the question. But is... I mean, she's a shade. With human looks but she can't have that time of the month right she's still a shade she doesn't have a reproductive system i'm guessing fuck this is awkward i don't want to ask these type of questions it's awkward as fuck you know now that i've taught you how because if that's not her blood whose blood is it and where's the body? Not yet, huh? Well, there's certainly no reason to rush. Congratulations, you made it awkward. Son of a bitch. I made it more awkward than the postman asking Kaine. Also, it's definitely not her blood. So, there's, there's a body somewhere nearby. Someone's been stabbed. <laughs> oh god, she ate somebody. You know, it makes me happy that you've taken such a shine to me. Dude. First time we met, I didn't <laughs> have the foggiest idea what was going on in that head of yours. You still have no fucking idea what's going on in that head of hers. <laughs> so, hey, I've been thinking. <laughs> How about you come live with me? It might be kind of nice to have a daughter around. She eats humans, after all, for her own wants. So the more humans she eats, she thinks she becomes more human. It's a bit like um, that thing in Near Automata that wants to become more beautiful by consuming more machines. Ugh. Ugh. Not into it, huh? Guess I should have figured. I'm sad to hear it, but... It's your choice, of course. This fucker is so lucky to be alive. He is just lucky he was nice to oh, the evil the demon thing. Wet. <laughs> Guys, note to self. If you ever encounter a stranger, be nice. Your chances of not being murdered improve exponentially. That's the first thing I thought when I saw Lewis in Route B. Is it going to keep zooming in? Wait, is this... blood? Oh dear, are you... I mean, it's not on our boots, so...
Oh, baby, that is one hell of a smell. We got something real nasty nearby, eh, Sunshine? So there is a smell throughout the entire ship. And the guy's still not seeing any red flag. The dark is not... The, the, the blood is not dark enough. Um, I will take your word for it because I'm not too familiar with that, but I'll take your word for it. Come on, don't tell me you ain't picked up on it yet. You of all people gotta know what this smell means. <laughs> Trust me, there is no chance in hell there are rotting corpses on the ship and the guy does not go, holy fuck, what is that? I feel sick. No way. This ship is in poor condition indeed. Do try not to thrash about and bring its timbers down around us, hussy. Whatever. Sure you're all right, Penny. You really shouldn't push yourself. Hey, I've got an idea. How about you and me search outside and get some nice fresh air in the process? Sure. Let's do that. Sounds good. Take care of Kaine for us, Emil. Emil is on the case. Come on, Kaine. Let's get the lead out. So we're definitely going to hear the girl's voice now when we listen to the thing. This is going to be interesting. We're going to be able to hear more of what she was this saying. This place is pretty gloomy. I'm having a hard time imagining any townsfolk hanging around here. Well, as we've no other leads, let the search begin. Look there, on the floor. And there's still some... Sorry if I skipped some of the mundane stuff. So what, the girl just goes through walls? Wait, did you see that girl just now? I did indeed. How on earth did she manage to get behind us? Perhaps she is the runaway we heard tell of at the post office. Oh yeah, so she goes into this room. And... Hmm? There's no one here. Weird. It's like we just saw a ghost. <laughs> what foolishness. I am certain this room merely contains a secret passageway or the like. With this ship, anyway. There may be clues somewhere that tell of how it ran aground. Maybe she's the amalgamation of all the souls, but instead of all the personalities fusing into a giant monster, she's the dominant personality without a voice. Maybe. Or maybe she's a little girl that suffered the most at the hands of the of the slaver people, and as a result, she does, you know, something like darker lesser and just becomes. Shade. I don't know. Then perhaps we ought to make use of that lantern we just found, hmm? Now she can't be amalgamation if she is a singular being. Then she's just that bloody powerful on her own. Which is a little bit... What the fuck? What's that? What's this? An apple. It's a bit bruised, but it's not super old or anything. I wager it was dropped by that fruit-loving ferryman with the red... Perhaps he absconded to this ship to wait... Let's keep moving. Okay. That's why Popola wanted to use her against the Shadow Lord. What was that sound just now? That's a lot of firepower. Sounds like it came from the floor above us. <laughs> the first time this was so creepy. No music and you think there's going to be a jump scare. It was so good. This barrel's been knocked over, and there's flour everywhere. Surely it was toppled by the girl we saw at the entrance. Wait. Cast your eyes to the floor, lad. The missing child left white tracks in her passing. Should we follow them, I expect we will find our way to her. Oh boy. Man, this book's got some serious heft to it. I wonder what it's for. Wait a minute, so every time we can read more of the book, oh boy. It would seem to be this ship's logbook. 
Let us avail ourselves of a gander. Hmm. Records of the routes it traveled, the weather it encountered, and the places it made port, all in a painstaking level of detail. I would expect no less for a vessel of this size. Until the day the records suddenly cease. What the hell happened on this ship? We have no time to stand about deciphering a logbook. Let us move on. I'm surprised they didn't just take it. Because they could bring it with them and study it later, right? I mean, it's not like the go Oh, there's hands! Were there hands before? The white handprints on the wall lead in the direction of this door. Why did she leave handprints, though? That's weird. How is it locked if the girl just used it? Unless she's actually... I demand you cease your interminable chatter about ghosts at once. The simplest explanation is that she locked the door from the other side. I didn't even say anything yet. In any case, if we want to use the door, we'll have to find a key. Are we able to move this now? Did you see that light on the other side of the shelves? A shame we cannot investigate further with these blasted things in our way. I would like a word with the interior designer who thought to put them here. <laughs> Hang on, I think I can move these. Oh, I can move it like this now. Hey, there's a notebook on this desk. Oh, wow, this thing is crammed full of information. A record of the cargo they carried, no doubt. Let me see. Here we go. By my pages, this ship was used by slavers. How simply atrocious. Wait, you're telling me they sold people? And made out quite handsomely from the transactions, it would seem. It would be a hell of a plot twist if the lighthouse ladies a lover was one of the slavers. That would be fucked. How could they do something like that? I do not know, nor do I care to ponder it. Let it suffice to say there are monsters who trade coin for misery in all corners of this accursed world. We cannot change the grim truth of this ship, lad. So let us instead focus on what we might accomplish in the here and now. We cannot change- That is like slaver money. There's a breeze coming through these shelves. That white vase is rather conspicuous. Try giving it a nudge. Turn around and do nothing. That white vase is... A hidden room. How delightful. That is one hell of a mechanism. <laughs> we just walk out without actually doing anything. No, we're not doing that. These chests are pretty huge. And what do they contain? Treasure, perhaps? I don't know. Going by the chains and shackles and the ceiling and the blood on the floor. I wish. Looks like a bunch of iron tools. Those are no mere tools, lad. They are instruments of torture. I shudder to think what evil transpired in this room. Man, being a slaver is bad enough, but a torturer? That's fucked. This ship holds many secrets best left unknown. No wonder the ship is bloody haunted. There don't seem to be any shades around, at least. Fortunate for us. Now let no more time be wasted in our search for the townsfolk. Yeah, what's left of them? The white tracks end here. Wait, I hear something. Here it comes.
Okay, I'm good. Despite being hungry for half a day. Thank you guys for bearing with me. Oh no, don't make me feel bad for you. Stop feeling, it's gonna make killing you weird. Whatever that sound was, it stopped. I swear it sounded like a girl. This is a voice pipe. A contraption by which one's voice can travel to a faraway location. Which means the girl is in whatever room this pipe connects to. And he even said it sounded like a girl, so how much can he actually hear? Hold a moment. I spy a chart of the ship's layout on the wall. <sighs> yes. This pipe connects to a cabin in the ship's stern. Onward and, uh, inward, I guess. Oh, this boy. little lantern has brought us quite far, hasn't it? Yeah. And the light it gives off makes me feel, I don't know, safe somehow. Well, aren't we the romantic? Here comes the fun part, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like somebody's journal. Here, let me see. Hmm. It says the ship was attacked by some kind of monster. Eh? Seems like the person who wrote this holed up in here while the monster roamed around the ship, killing everyone. So the monster was external to the ship. Do you think that actually happened? I cannot say. Though the term monster might well be referring to a shade. Indeed. Well, oh, hang on. There's more. <sighs> Let's see the depths of the insanity of this one. Oh. After the screaming died down, the writer would hold their breath whenever they heard the monster's footsteps. Sounds rational. I think the person who wrote this was in here for weeks. Which means they would have needed a water supply. This journal was likely the only thing keeping that madness at bay. And if they were afraid of the monster, they probably didn't leave the room. And I don't see a lot of water bottles in this room, do you? Let's read a bit more. A whole bunch of pages just have the word help scrawled across them. See how the writing turns a darker shade of red? They must have started using their own blood after running out of ink. I think that is enough reading for one day. No. Keep reading, goddammit. Picking up where we left off. Oh, that's weird. The rest of these pages have been ripped out. Uh, to these eyes, it looks more like they were bitten off. They must have been hungry. What in the name of all that is holy could have happened on this ship? Nothing holy. What in the name... Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought that would be. The kitchen, is it? Heavens, look at the size of this saucepan. This must have been where they prepared meals for the crew. Hmm? There's a note stuck to the counter. Extra rice, hold the peppers. Looks like the crew had some say over how they ate. <laughs> to be picky about one's food while at sea is a luxury indeed. Well, you're selling human cargo, so, you know. Thinking back on it, the cuisine we were served during our visit to the bickering couple's home was quite... particular in its choice of ingredients, was it not? Tell me about it. I feel like I've sampled every single recipe in the Apple Fanatics cookbook. Hey, apples are fucking delicious. Apple pie especially with vanilla on top while it's warm, so the vanilla starts melting, but it still keeps a lot of its form, but the vanilla juices just start dripping into the apple pie. So when you cut into the apple pie, you get a layer of the vanilla liquid, the solid vanilla ice cream on top, as well as the warm apple pie. It is delicious! Do not bag it out! Once we track down the ferryman, we should invite them to a meal at our place. Yeah, about that. A fine idea, lad. Food is life. Okay, I'm gonna grab the thing before the ship dies. Oh, damn. What the hell 
is the smell? Corpses. Perhaps it is wafting from further inside? Another apple. Just how many apples does that quibbling husband keep on his person while he's out and about? Let's keep searching. How can someone be so crazy for apples? What are they, Hold the wise wolf? Uh, vice? I think the floor is... Speak to me, lad. Are you hurt? Uh, been better, but I'll live. <laughs> Imagine wearing so much armor. When you drop, you're heavy. I can't see a thing down here. And what is that terrible stench? I suspect we may have fallen into the ship's hold. The lantern got away from me during the fall. We'd better look for it. Speaking of Hachun, she'll be actually joining Anime Monday next week, so we need to find something for her to watch. I think she watched like two episodes of Spice and Wolf. I need to edit those out for you guys. Hmm? Is that... Can I move around without the dock? I can, can I? Yeah, I'm, I'm moving around. Oh no, I'm lost. Vice, that's it! We found the lantern. About time. Might I suggest you cease the celebratory fanfare and light the blasted thing already? Given that this game is from Square Enix, they could play the uh, Final Fantasy um, fanfare. Ooh, Wolf's Rain. That was oh a really dear. good one. Look at the bodies. <sighs> They've been eaten. They are all people from town. And I fear the missing ferryman. Has this girl not learned to not, you know, waste food? This guy doesn't even look half eaten. Oh no. This can't be real. Why? Why did he... Why did everyone have to... Damn it! Look how messy of an eater she is. Pull yourself together, lad. Remember the presence Kaine sensed? The culprit who murdered these poor folk likely awaits us further within. Oh, and the music kicks in. I won't let them get away with this. <laughs> That's enough, lad. Avert your eyes. It's funny how Vice legitimately cares for Nier. He gives him a lot of shit, but when it matters, he's like, don't look, lad. The smell of metal and shit. Ugh. Ooh, she's got a little tentacle tail. Why did things turn up like this? Oh, no! Did he leave because of his body? Stop giving her a goddamn voice! I just want to be able to talk with him. No! I don't want him to be afraid of me. No! I don't want him to hate me. No! I want to meet him in human form. I want to look at the sun with my own eyes. And don't you dare say you don't want to keep hurting people. Don't you dare! So, if I can just eat my people, maybe then I can become a human. Hey there, you two! Sorry, I need a shiver real quick, but my body's not letting me. Give it a minute. What kind of response is shivering? <laughs> a legitimate question. Because it seems to happen every time something creepy as all hell comes along. Hey, I didn't know you guys came back inside. Did we ever? Found a nice hole in the wall to slide through. But then we heard a bunch of noise coming from that super dark floor downstairs. No, you sure no. had us worried. Yeah, sorry about that. You feeling better, Kane? A little, yeah. Sorry for- Good. 
Oops. That's uh, that's good. I mean, she says the same thing every time, so it's all right. Jeez, you seem really down in the dumps. Did something happen? Oh, you know. Little girl hating people, wanting to be human. <laughs> Tell me, Kaine, that presence you sensed. It's on the floor above us. Oh, boy. I feared as much. It seems we've little choice but to press onward. Oh, boy. You're really not looking so hot. Is everything okay? <laughs> you shouldn't have to bear all this on your own. Once things calm down a bit, come talk to me about it, okay? Thanks, Emil. Did you guys find anything on the ship? Oh, you know. Some townspeople, actually. But they're all... Oh, shit. Yep, pr they're pretty shitted. What's in here? There's a bunch of crumpled up paper here. Letters, maybe? Oh boy, here they are. They all seem to have the same words written upon them. But the penmanship is so poor, I cannot make heads nor tails of it. Isn't this what she wrote? They seem... She was writing, wasn't she? <laughs> oh man, that smell is getting ripe. How you feeling there, sunshine? Not great. Can't you tell? Oh, you know, I'm considering vomiting out my insides, not only the contents of my stomach. Thank you very much. Ugh. Ugh. So I just have to basically kill her before she sings, right? Is that the go? Now what are you telling me? Because if that's the case... I just need my Dark Lance... ...to have... ...just a tad more magical power... What does this do? Weaken? Poison confused, we can drain MP. Yeah, that works. This would be the final room, yes? Yeah. The lion, the bitch, and the wardrobe. The culprit who murdered the townspeople may be behind this very door. Yeah, Let and the post... Let us proceed with utmost caution. And the postman that just walks past the ship riddled with corpses. Oh boy. Let me guess, I can hear her now. It's that girl we saw when we first entered the ship. Hey there, little girl. I'm here to Anakin Skywalker. Nice to meet you. Old lad. This is a lone child sitting inside a hulking ship littered with corpses. Something is clearly amiss. Perhaps you should join them. There. Oh man, this shade is nuts! I think I'm in love. Tyran, stop being like me every time we find a crazy girl. She's underage, goddammit! But then again, you are inhabiting Kanye's body that is a woman, so technically, while being illegal, you would not be convicted of anything because the law is sexist. But still, you are a man in a woman's body who will identify as a woman at this is getting complicated. You can feel her power hanging in the air, and she ain't even trying yet. Oh, damn. <laughs> Things are finally heating up. Huh? Could this girl be the presence you sensed, Kaine? So what do we do, burn the ship? 
Oh, hey, it's you. Been a while. Wait, you're the postman. What are you doing here? Oh, I've been coming here a lot lately. I have. I think this girl was on the ship when it drifted in. Please tell me you didn't deliver the humans. No, you didn't, because you're upset about the fact that she's killing people, so you don't know, clearly. Ugh. I've been keeping an eye on her until she's well enough to leave. Hey, so this is kind of awkward, but... Oh, boy. The girl is, you know, bleeding? Mmm, Yokotaro. You really had to add this in the game, didn't you? I brought a bunch of bandages with me, but, uh... <sighs> Why was this necessary again? Well, how exactly does one deal with a woman's time of the month? Is Yokotaro literally asking the audience for advice? Because my advice is get chocolate and hide behind a tree. Mmm. <sighs> S sorry, sorry. Clearly crossed a line there. Forget I said anything. Has anyone ever told that to Yokotaro? I get the feeling he's asking for help. And hiding it in a game so his wife doesn't find out. Stay the hell away from her! She isn't- And there it is. He's gonna get himself stabbed with that sword. Kind of, Emil. We'll figure something out. You just find a way to get the hell out of here. The two of them will be fine, but you and I must withdraw. Well, shit. The ship is collapsing. We must leave at once. Very much aware of that. Thanks. Let's go. They're in the way! Looks like we can get out through that hole up there! Oh, great! These things regenerate! Only cut. You could always ask her for advice. No, no, no. He's asking us for advice on how to deal with his wife. Glad you two made it out in one piece. Yeah, we're good. But that poor postman is still trapped inside. Get it? One piece, pirate ship? Hey. We'd better go help him out. No shade would dare pursue us into sunlight such as this. We should use the opportunity to ready ourselves. Yes, ready yourself mentally. And go. <laughs> <laughs> All I gotta say is, ill. What on earth? Like, ill. Wait, does that mean all those big shades had a human thing inside them? Because that's just some weird shit. Don't take this personally, little girl, but I'm about to do a... Why isn't this shade being hurt by the sun? That is not precisely the case. It most certainly is being burned by the sunlight. However, its regenerative abilities far outpace whatever damage the light is able to inflict. This light, something is coming. Get out of Have the I way, failed? Man. Oh, listen, it's singing. This thing actually thinks it's a person. <laughs> what? <laughs> Diabetes. <laughs> I don't know where this 
singing lessons came from, but I do know it's sure as hell trying to eat us! Aim for the tentacles with faces on them! Don't stop now. Focus on the next one. What, did we get it? Was that it? Oh, wow. Well. Did we get it? That's a lot of tentacles. And a Michael Bay movie. Except there was no explosion, what the fuck? Oh, hell. That thing's huge. What, they run out of the explosion budget? Still has the ribbon. Okay, now we're gonna take her out before she fucking ribbons me. Okay, um. The thing it could recover from such a grievous wound. Ordinary attacks aren't gonna do shit against this thing. We'll just have to up our own attacks to match. You get its weakness by now, yeah, sunshine? Well then, get to carving this bastard up before we're all dead! I know, damn it, I know! Carve it! This thing is in the mouth. We need to get up there. Are you serious? Um, but how are we supposed to do that? Instead of wasting time running your mouths, how about you keep attacking the damn thing until it falls over? Yeah, I got you, Hey, the guy from before has collapsed on the beach. That shade's got some kind of hard on for it. We should take him hostage. Shut your yap. I'm not moving. Why am I coughing now? I'm using my blades on people. I think it's working. It's concentrating tremendous magical energy into its head. Attacking it may cause the power gathered there to discharge. Ah, fuck! Oh, no, it worked! Wait, is that it? Oh, shit! Go near! Now's your chance, run, lad! Attack the part of her that looks like a girl! Yes, that looks like a girl! Don't ask questions, baby near. Get up there and kill the little girl. The shade's core is inside its mouth. Hurry! Shit. My numbers are bigger than yours, little girl! Oh crap! Oh mother of-
Wait, the guy doesn't attack her. So... Observe to start the progress of the current and no usual readings in the second room directly to cabinet commander in 2016. New medication cycle. So we get a new ending, right? Thanks. You really saved our bacon. Speaking of bacon, we bought bacon at the store yesterday and we didn't bring it home somehow. Hachan's still upset about losing her bacon. You've all done so much for me. Offering a little refuge is the least I can do. I don't have the words to express how sorry I am. We all knew townspeople were out there being eaten by a shade. And you didn't suspect the little girl in the ghost ship that smells like corpses could have been the shade. Oh, come on. I never imagined I was taking care of it this entire time. All it did was ask me to bring people over for a slumber party, and they all kept going home really early. The fault lies with that foul creature alone, Postman. Not yourself. I... I hope I can believe that someday. <sighs> Alright, well, we'd better get going. There's someone else we need to break this news to. Fair enough. I hope to see you out there on the old letter trail again soon. Really, I can't... Oh boy. Oh boy. Hey, did you find my husband? Ah! Uh, yeah. The thing is... Ah! Wait, why are you hesitating? Ah! Is he alright? Please tell me he's alright. Ah! Come on! Say something already! Eh, uh, no inglesi! Uh, uh, no inglesi! No, no ingles. No ingles. Your husband was killed by a shade. I'm sorry. We tracked him down, but it was already too late. No, it can't be true. That big idiot, always carrying his bag around. Thinking about me all the time. Oh God, this can't be happening. <laughs> it saddens this old tome to think we'll never hear those two at each other's throats again. If only I'd gotten to him sooner. Do not let it burden you so lad. You did the best you were able. That's what really fucks people. You could be a you know, a surf lifesaver, a, a fireman, a medic, and you'll save a fuck ton of people. But what will fuck you the most is the one or two people you couldn't save. Despite saving all those other people, you're still gonna be tormented by the one or two you couldn't save. It is, it is fucked. Of no fault of your own, Did mind you. Did you see that massive shade in the inlet? I tell you, buddy, I've never been so scared. Inlet? Isn't that the toilet? The import-export dame says you're a good guy, yeah? So listen, 
I got stuff in the back room, if you know what I mean. And I'll sell it to you for a good price. You guy sounds shifty. Wow, these magic capsules are rare. Hmm. Oh, right, I can buy the fertilizers for a good price. The lie route hurts so much. Yeah, because she blames herself. She's like, was it something I did? What did I do? Was I not good enough for him? You tell that dame I said, hey. Was everything I did, was everything he said a lie? Feels like someone I know from the Fate series who can't save everybody. It's it's a real fuck thing. I learned that lesson when I was playing chess. And, like, I was doing really well, but the other person just beat me. And then I, I was thinking, like, how did I lose? And he ended up just telling me, because you refused to sacrifice any of your pieces. And, like, that was basically it. It's like, I treated the pawns the same way I would a rook or a knight. It's a, it's a difficult lesson to swallow. What was on the paper, Kane? What was on the paper? <gasps> oh shit! POV! Show me! The hell's this, sunshine? Show me! A letter. That thing wrote it for the postman. Ha! Man, that is some grade A chicken scratch. Show me, damn it! She probably copied the letters as best she could. So, what's it say? Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Oh, fuck off! Two routes! What do you want? Yeah, she ripped it up in Route B, but what's gonna- Is she gonna give it to him? It's like I was stuck in some kind of dream. Is it because we did the thing? We get a different ending? Hey, letter guy. Oh, shit! That ass, though. You're that. Um... I mean, how can I help you? Got a letter for you. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is like one of those cheesy pornos. Hey, postman! I got a letter for you! I'm sorry, I I'm a child. Wait, you have a letter for me? I am a child sometimes, I apologize. Yeah, it's from that thing on the ship. Oh, crap. Louise? Let me see. Oh, crap. Oh, it says, thank you. Oh, come on! <laughs> wow, look at this. After all that time I spent trying to teach her to write, she actually managed to string together a few ugly little letters. Damn it. Why can't I stop seeing her smile? hearing that song she used to sing. I know she ate people. I know she was a monster. Ah, dude! <laughs> the reason why she ripped up the letter in the other ending was because the postman attacked her and called her a monster. So she probably thought he didn't want to read the letter. This time, he didn't say those things, so she gave him the Luis letter. That makes perfect sense. Kane, you are fucking sweet. Do you realize this? You are fucking adorable sometimes. And you don't get enough credit. My god. Yeah, of course you walk away when I give you a compliment. And 
why is she walking while we're on this? This thing is big enough for two people. Dude! I think if Luis wasn't beating her ass in the first round and B was made, her look like a monster. And it is why a person would attack her because to protect you. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna suck. And now we gotta do loyal Cerberus. Why? <laughs> when is enough enough, Yoko Taro? <laughs> this is just cruel. It's cruel because you know the end. And they drip feed. They don't just give it to you, they drip feed. They drip feed that shit to you. And you think what it, what could it be? What could it not be? What's on the letter? What's not on the letter? And it's something so simple. But it's impactful. And it's like... If she didn't think that eating more people could make her human, would she be a monster just because she's a shape? And you would be like, oh, but she's not human. And you're like, okay, well, she's got human form for the most part. It's like, oh, well, she can't speak. It's like, well, now she can speak. Oh, she can't write. It's like, well, now she can write. It's like, oh, she can't feel. It's like, well, it kind of sounds like she has emotions. So what's the difference between her and a human? What's the definition of a human? What's the unique characteristic that separates someone who is or isn't human? What is it? It, it just, it just fucks you. And then comes to the question that if non-human things have more humanity than a human, why does it matter? When you squeeze blood from a stone, but, but it's it's just ugh. <laughs> that is hard. There's no way to define what we are. It, it's an existential question. It's this gets you thinking. It hits you right there, and it's hard because there's no answer, and we're all guilty of it at one point or another. Thinking that someone or something is better than someone or something else based on something arbitrary that doesn't really matter. Ah, That's how you know it's a good game. When it makes you think and it changes the way you look at things. It has an impact. It's not just 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 100 or 2000 hours of entertainment. It legitimately changes your way of viewing the world. That's how you know it's a good game. It changes you. It's an experience. It's a journey. You're not the same once you come out on the other side. That's a good game. <sighs> Alright, let's take a quick little break. I'm going to leave it on this song because it is really nice. Oh my god, and we're going to continue forward a little bit. <sighs> I'm going to double check what time... I gotta do the filming with Hajan. I think it's 4.30, so I still have time to finish this route. But this fucking hits you, man. It, it, it hits you. You, can... you don't have to 100% agree, accept, or be on the side of someone. But you can understand where they're coming from. 
Even if you don't agree with their conclusion, you could still understand where they're coming from and to some level empathize. That's what really gets you. That's what really gets you. Like, I don't agree with a lot of the stuff, but I could still understand how someone could reach that point. And I don't necessarily blame them for it because if I was in their circumstances, I could very easily reach the very same conclusion. Ah! Quick little break, we'll be back in three minutes. <laughs> this fucking game, guys. This fucking game. Vice! You dumbass! Start making sense, you rotten book, or you're gonna be sorry! Maybe I'll rip your pages out one by one, or maybe I'll put you in the goddamn furnace! How can someone with such a big smart brain get hypnotized like a little bitch, huh? Oh, Shadow Lord, I love you, Shadow Lord. Come over here and give Vice a big sloppy kiss, Shadow Lord! Now pull your head out of your goddamn ass and start fucking helping us! 